We begin with a developing story. A 12-year-old Northwest Suburban boy in the hospital today following a violent attack at school by another student. Fortunately, the seventh grader is doing better after suffering serious brain and skull injuries. Good afternoon. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. Friends and family are rallying around Henry Simcher. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas is live in Elgin with more on the attack and how Henry's doing. Roseanne. That's right, Erica. We just heard from District U46 officials, and they say what started as a bump in the hallway and led to an overreaction ended up with this little boy in a coma in the hospital. But tonight, we hear he is talking and eating, and that is great news for all of the folks in this community who are rallying around his recovery. Oh my God, Henry is the cutest, sweetest little thing you'll ever meet in your entire life. He's a great kid. This middle school parent couldn't believe news that 12 year old seventh grader Henry Sempner is in the hospital with a serious brain injury. Shock, extreme shock. But Henry's mom confirmed it on Facebook. My son was a victim of a senseless act of violence, she wrote. He has multiple facial fractures and is being monitored for a brain bleed. School officials say another student assaulted Henry in the hallway at Kenyon Woods Middle School between classes. In a show of hope for Henry, students and teachers at several Elgin schools wore green today. The community support has been unbelievable, incredible. Now, the boy believed to have caused Henry's injuries, uh, we're told by police, was not in school today. He was taken into custody Friday briefly, but then he was uh, released to the custody of his parents. They are police that is still investigating tonight, and school officials are investigating as well. They said more than 100 students took advantage of the social workers that were provided at school for their students today. And again, because the boys are juveniles, they aren't releasing any details about any prior problems with these students at all. Live in Elgin tonight, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, Roseanne, thank you.